Yeah. Right. So as part of the today's concept, today we'll discuss about the first of all, what is BTP? So yesterday also we discussed about the BTP is a one of the platform as a service. So SAP is providing the platform for the customers to build their to enable developers to build, extend, to run some innovative applications on the BTP platforms here. So that's why normally we will call it as the SAP BTP as a PaaS, P-A-A-S, PaaS. So platform as a service here. In the cloud computing, in the cloud side, in the cloud side, we have the three main models here. In the cloud side here, we have the, in the cloud computing side, they are the three main cloud service models are available here, right? So that we know, I think few of the members already knows about the, this cloud service models here. So one is the, so pass platform as a service, right? Second one is the infrastructure as a service here. The third one is the software as a service here. They are the three models, three service models we have in the cloud side. In the cloud side, we have the three models we have in the cloud side here, right? So, so three models we have in the here. So, coming to the, let's talk about the, some differences between the, these three models here, right? So, software as a service, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service. Let's discuss about the, some basic difference here. What mean by basic difference here? So, as a service, first of all, let's discuss about the, as a service. What does it mean by as a service here? So, let's start discussing about the, as a, typically, as a service means the model is offered by the third party in the company means some of the tools some of the services the model is offered by the third party in the cloud in other words you don't have to purchase the you don't have the purchase and manage or use any hardware or software or tools applications from on-premise data center just instead of that you can pay simply pay a subscription or subscription based or payment based consumption based so amount to the so respect to provider to access the your related applications you can access it so uh, here as a service so just giving the example of the what is mean by as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service and so software as a service so for every model, we have the as a service, right? Every, every model, we have the as a service here. So what does it mean by the as a service here? So it's a, the model which is operating by the third party in the cloud, which means, which means here, you don't need to purchase the, any hardware resources, any software, any tools, any manage the, any network, on-premises data centers, so you don't need to just you can simply pay a so you can just pay the amount to take the rent you can mean to say taking the rent of the all these hardware softwares all the tools application everything we are taking network internet everything we are taking a rent in the cloud side here so that is what as a service which will represent in the terms here right so let's discuss about the what is mean by paas here platform as a service right so btp also one of the platform as a service btp so btp is a platform as a service which platform pass means here it will delivers and manages the the hardware and software resources it will so the cloud providers we have the multi cloud providers so they will manage the hardware and software resources to develop the applications through the cloud developers and uh, IT operations, they will use the IT operations team. Means we directly use the services to subscribe it. We can use, means we don't need to do the any installation here. Just to subscribe the service, perform the configuration and business data is ours. That is the platform. Means it's a provide, SAP is providing the platform to us. Just to subscribe the services, whatever you required, 
then we can use it here subscribe the services then we can use that services here that is the platform they are providing to us here so which means which means here hardware os some runtime services everything some runtime everything they are providing to us everything they are providing to us then we have to use the so we have to use the how many cpus how much memory how much data we required application code data configuration is our responsibility in platform as a service here at the same time we have the infrastructure as a service here infrastructure as a service here infrastructure means just they will provide the hardware and that just they will provide the hardware and virtualization to us hardware and virtualization virtualization means so it kind of hyperscaler so that that type of virtualization they will provide to us so then after that os installation is our responsibility runtime scaling application code data configuration everything is our responsibility only here the cloud providers means cloud providers means who are the cloud providers here right so who are the cloud providers we have the aws cloud providers right azure right so gcp then ibm cloud then ibm cloud so then alibaba cloud these are the so multi cloud in iran multiple cloud providers we have in the market here right so these cloud providers so if you go with the infrastructure as a service they will only provide the hardware and virtualization virtualization means some tools to us then they will only provide this one but remaining things like operating system then runtime service runtimes runtime means our application runtime service installations make in our language sap language os installations then uh, then configurations then extend file systems then application installation db installation configurations our data is only our responsibility we will manage this one here infrastructure means only hardware is responsible by the hardware and network cpu rams everything will be responsible by the your infrastructure provider infrastructure provider here so that is in our own language here right ias here so next one is the saas software as a service here software as a service means here so they will provide the hardware they are the responsible for hardware so they are responsible for the os they are responsible the so everything so installation of the softwares operating system so only here data is ours data application storing the data is ours here that is called the saas just application also built just you can use the url to login then you can use your business data micro like sac sap analytics cloud is a saas product so some kind of functionalities are there here so those are the sac ariba sap public cloud sorry private cloud so these all are the saas products these are the saas products by the sap here means software installation os hardware installations database software installation managing everything by the everything by the the hardware provider everything they will support it here so remaining all those things are responsibility by the our provider we manage here so so btp also one kind of so like btp also providing the one of the saas product that is called the sap analytics cloud service and also in a platform as a service btp is mainly on the platform as a service here platform as a service here platform means we discussed right hardware os and so choosing the softwares is only is for the so they will provide it here after that how much memory you want to use it what service you have to use it just platform they are providing the platform here so btp is a one of the platform as a service which is providing to the customers to build their so applications to build their applications to develop their applications to extend their on premises to the your cloud based applications easy integrations some runtime innovative application services so they are providing the this btp btp sap is providing to the customers here so it provides the 
some kind of range of services like SAP is providing the some of the services like SAP HANA Cloud, Data Lake, Cloud Foundry environments. So this kind of environments they are providing. In this environments, we can also, we can as well as we can also integrate the multiple cloud platforms, we can integrate it. Means our services, whatever the services, suppose example, 92 plus services SAP is providing to the customers here. So with these services, you can install, you can, you can deploy, maybe what is the right word, you can install or you can deploy these services on the, so multiple cloud platforms. That's why BTP is a multi-cloud platform. Means it's a customers to choose where you want to deploy, in which data center, in which region you want to deploy, install your business services. That is customer choice. Which region means? Which cloud provider means? These are the cloud providers. Which region means? So each, each cloud provider, there are the different, different data centers in the different regions. So the customers to choose it where you want to deploy your service. So you can choose it your own way, right? And also the key features of the BTP supports the multiple programming languages and framework here. BTP supports, BTP supports multi-program, multi-cloud environment. That is the one word. The another word is multi-programming, multi, so multi-program languages here, multi-program languages here. So multi-program languages means, so what kind of languages is providing? So how the developers can use these languages? So normally Java, Java scripts, right? So just for giving the example here, Python, so Python, so and so this kind of, so GitHub, this kind of multi-program, this program they are also using to, to open source, right? It's providing the multi-program languages here. It's programming the multi-program languages, multi-cloud environments. So what is mean by environment here, right? So each and every word here, it's represent to this specific term, specific technology here. So word environment means where we can run the, our services. The BTP, the environment word means, so it's kind of playground. In our lay, layman language, we have the one playground where we will go, we, where we will go and play the games. So that is called the environment here. The BTP also, each platform, each cloud provider, they will provide the environments to us to run our services. It kind of operating system. In our language, it kind of some operating system here. So detailed, I will discuss. Okay. So don't worry. Each and everything, there is a separate topic here. I will discuss. So just provide giving the example of the kind of multi program languages and also and also multi so frameworks like Fiori, UiFi, Scripting, Spring, so Kima, so that kind of multi frameworks and also multi cloud environments, multi cloud environments. So this is the multi cloud. So kind of a wide range of tools and services to the developers and also for administrator functionalities to manage our applications, to store our data. So they are providing the, some databases also here. BTP, in the BTP, they are providing the databases like SAP, HANA Cloud, and SAP, AAC, this kind of databases they are providing here. This kind of databases they are providing to the customer here. They are providing to the customers here, right? So they are providing the customers here. So normally, so first of all, BTP, also yesterday we discussed about this one, business technology platform. In the name itself, we have the, it is a platform as a service. It is providing the platform to the customers to extend their, that's why extend. Extend means if they have the business in the on-premises, they want to extend the cloud-based. That's why they can extend their business solutions and also to develop their business solutions in the cloud. And also it's less code. They have the, they are providing all these kind of things here, right? So it's a BTP, is it new? I mean to say, is a SAP come up with the new solution in the market? No. In the 
multiple multiple like several years back they have started this pass business here yesterday i given the overview on the this business so today also just i will give the some history of the btp here right so in 2012 and the 2012 actually sap sap come up with the sap they have entered into the pass business here in the 2012 sap entered into the pass business that to with netweaver cloud sap netweaver sap netweaver cloud here that is called the neo environment in 2012 onwards we have the neo environment is available in the pass market platform as a service market with netweaver cloud sap they have entered into the pass market here in the 2012 itself that is called the first business is called the sap netweaver cloud the code name is called the neo right after that after that slowly slowly they have neo the sap netweaver cloud sap netweaver cloud sap netweaver cloud so they have renamed to the renamed to the sap hana cloud platform sap hana cloud platform hcp hcp normally we will hear this platform right hcp hana cloud platform then so that's happened in the 2013 that's happened into the 2013 in the one year they have renamed that one so then after that so they have executed sometime then in between they have started giving the cloud foundry environment they have new environment so neo is the it's kind of only commercial and also only few specific services only sap data center related services will run on the neo so then slowly in 2017 they have introduced the cloud foundry environment cloud foundry environment which supports the cloud foundry environment so they have added to the along with the neo they have added to the cloud foundry environment so which means in the cloud foundry environment so other cloud providers here it's only sap cloud in the 27 onward 2017 onwards other cloud providers like aws azure other other cloud providers will starting they have started so uh, subscribe they started supporting to the this uh, this sap services they have started supporting to the sap supported here so slowly in 27 itself they have so okay it's not only hana cloud so then in the 27 itself they have dropped the hana word they have dropped the hana word and they have renamed they have renamed called the sap scp and the sap cloud platform it was a pass offering by sap sap cloud platform sap let me write it here sap cloud platform which is offering by offering by sap in 2017 itself here right so with the neo and cloud foundry environments here in the secure one so on cloud foundry environment here so that is what sap is offering here if you have any in the cloud foundry environment means they have come up with the new solutions new solutions means if you have the on premise systems you can also integrate with the your cloud systems also neo means if you have the sap your service are in the sap data centers then so those services we can use it here only integration functionalities are very less here here with the inclusion of with the addition of the cloud foundry environment they come up with the multi they are supporting the multi cloud environments and also multiple languages and also easy integration with your on premise systems so then slowly slowly they have renamed and and also they have started so integrating the abap environment also abap environment also here which means in 2018 they have started support they are starting giving the services to the customers like abap environment in the on premise systems how we have the abap systems in on premise systems how we have the abap systems for the abap development purpose same way in the btp also we have the one abap system which providing to the customers for the abap developments here then slowly uh, kima environment so then 2021 in the 2021 so they have sap cloud platform as i mentioned yesterday they have officially 
officially changed this one officially changed this naming convention scp2 and scp btp sir why we have changed yesterday also i explained this example why they have changed here here when it comes to the 2021 they are not only providing the cloud based support here so they are not only providing this one here so they are not only focusing on the providing the cloud based services to the business they are offering the multiple platforms multiple tools multiple solutions multiple development tools integration tools analytical tools so they are offering more than that more than that not only cloud based services more than that they are offering that's why that's why so to officially sap decided to rebrand their platform from sap cloud platform to sap btp which was announced on the 2021 they have announced their year they have announced so their naming convention changes to the 2021 that's why as i mentioned it's not the new to customer the word is new to customer but the business is not new it's a in 2012 itself it started their business slowly 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 it come up in the market then in the recently last two years three years onwards the btp is more than that they are providing whatever they are expected more than that they are providing the customers here so that's why sap decided to rebrand their platform as a btp business technology platform here so that is the why they have changed rebranded their cloud platform to btp means so this is this say this one i can say it here right so history means this is the history of the year so how can i get all those things here how can i get all those things here so which means where can i get here how to work on the btp here so btp is providing in the btp so sap sap is providing the global accounts to the customers here so when you contact the sap so to use the uh, this fast business so sap is providing the sap is providing the so two types of accounts to the customers here two types of accounts is providing to the so customers here one is the one is the so free trial accounts here so free tire account here free tire account here free tire free tire account here free tire accounts the second one is the second one is the enterprise account here enterprise account here so so this is the three two types of global accounts i mean to say global accounts here so here in the btp the terminology we have the accounts concept here when you contact sap to use the btp sap will provide you the one account to you that is the global account they will provide to you so this global account under this global account you have to create your landscape strategy you have to define your strategy you have to build your sub accounts so there is a accounts concept here in the btp here so sap is providing two types of accounts to the customer one is the free tier accounts and enterprise the free tier accounts it's entirely free for customers here they are providing free for customers to to build their pocs and also training everything where we can use the so this has concept but you cannot use this and free trial accounts for the business use case business use case purpose you cannot use free trial why because there is a limitations to use the free trial accounts and also there is no support you will not get any support from the sap here if any issues but enterprise account normally you will get the support from the sap enterprise account you will get the support from sap 24 by 7 support you will get the sap there is no limitations limitations in the sense like resources resources means cpu memory storage those things you do you don't have any limitations with the enterprise account here you will get the unlimited so you will get the bills here you will get the payment so how the payment based so first of all how the licensing model works in the btp how the licensing model will works in the btp here so let me i think it's better to explain i will explain it tomorrow regarding the sap licensing model and actual concepts why because few members are keep on joining and dropping and also few are new few are that trying to join so so i think better to stop it here
than tomorrow. Well, it depends anyone from anyone here that this perspective, uh, anyone any concerns with the regard.